he's not confined He confounds He will not resign He resounds He is not restrained Oh, hear the sound Oh, hear the sound Rocks are falling, the broken calling to the God who moves the mountains. The earth is shaking, the weary waking to the God who moves the mountains. The God who moves the mountains. Yeah.
Father, most of our family houses have been torn down, Almighty God, because of disobedience. But this morning, as we come to you, we ask, Almighty God, that you renew and rebuild those family houses, Almighty God. If your mother, Father, that you will touch mothers, Father, aunts, uncle, grandmother, you will be in the center of the family of Father. You will unite the family. Father God, because of the torn down of the family altar. For boys, Almighty God, they have wandered, they have strayed, they have become so careless, Almighty God. Father, our young girls have been abused and used by their fathers that you have entrusted in your Father. So this morning, as we come to you, Lord God, we ask you for a new wave. A new wave, Almighty God. We ask that the wave of death and tragedy and a certain corner of this city. Father, this morning we ask you to go up fresh on us. New vibes, new energy, transformation, Almighty God, and more youth among the old and young, Almighty God. Father, this morning we lift up each sector in our blessed island, Jamaica. We fix up the education system, the health system. Lord God, this morning we lift up our government before you. We lift up Mount Gold and Andrew. And we pray, Almighty God, so much bickering, so much confusion, Almighty God. We pray, Father, that they will look within themselves and say, You have entrusted this blessed island to them. And they should seek you, Almighty God. Seek you and be guided by your decision, Father. Lord God, we pray for the different nominations, Almighty God. You said your people who are called by your name, Father. We move from our wicked ways and seek your face. You will feel this blessed little land. And Father God, we pray that truly we will say that we are your children of God. We will truly, truly, Almighty God, seek your face. Father, we pray that as whatever will be done in this place today, it will be to your honor. It will be to your glory. And Father, you will be magnified among us, O Father. And the praise will rise among us, O God. And your heaven will open. And you will pour such a blessing upon your people that mountains, some cannot speak about it, O Father. Lord God, we thank you for bringing us this power. We thank you, dear you are going to bring us, Father. And we say thanks in your mighty and powerful name of Jesus. Amen.
moving and moving and moving up in her way. Hallelujah.
inviting everyone who had the privilege to stand. We're going to stand in agreement. Oh, we're going to stand in agreement as we pray. Oh, many times you're in the house of God and you hear, as the prophet said, if we own our peace, the rock will cry out. You know, yesterday I was at the fasting and you know, the minister who gave the message was from Zambia. I know he, 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 he tell us something that, you know, where he's from in Zambia, in his church, is over four million for that congregation. When they have women's fellowship, the women is up for three by five million. When they have women's fellowship, they have to select who will go because everybody cannot go. And I say to us today in Jamaica, many churches, we have the privilege to go every time. Nobody has to say, no, you cannot go today. Imagine you have the women's fellowship convention and you have to select 20 because the three by five million cannot go. Because they have to think about bathroom facility. They have to think about other things. You know, to facilitate all those people. Yeah. And I say to us today, His grace and His mercy would have brought us through that we are in Jamaica, that we can go to any convention, we can go to any church service on Sunday. But many times we think, oh, we take it slightly. And many times over there in the country, they wish that they have the privilege that we have. And that is why we can say that Jamaica is nice. But if we take it for granted, in the end, you know, nobody fought but ours. Yes. And so this morning, we are coming recognition of the privilege we have. Yes. We want to join together as one family, that knowing that the Lord who have done so much for us, that we are so thankful for His grace. We are so thankful for His mercy. We are so thankful for His blessing. We are so thankful for his provision. And so you don't owe it to me. You don't owe it to your mother. You don't owe it to your father. You owe it to him. And I say to us today, you can just close your eyes and just think about where he have brought you from. Where you could have been. Oh, we bless the name of Jesus. Mighty God, we give us thanks. Oh, we glorify you this morning. Lord, you are worthy. Your grace and mercy brought me to living this moment because of you. This morning there's a peace maker. This morning there's a way maker. 
Oh, this morning is a body here. Oh, this morning in the name of Jesus. He's a strong and mighty power. Oh, the righteous run it into it. Oh, mighty God, we need to see that we, oh, mighty God, brothers and sisters, oh, we will come to realization of who you are, of what you have done. Day and night, day after day, night after night, mighty God, you have provided. Day after day, you have provided, mighty God. You continue to make a way of escape for us, mighty God. Hallelujah, trouble and stress, mighty God. Yet still we are living to see a new day. Yet still we are alive and well this morning. Oh, remember so working, mighty God. This morning we need to see for strength. This morning we need to see that our eyesight will be seen. Oh, because many times our eyes is there. Oh, but many times it's like we see men walk in the street. Oh, mighty God, we won't escape our eyes, mighty God. Even though, Lord, let us to see men walking like men. Oh, let us to see our brothers and sisters. Let us to see our children, mighty God. Let us to see our family members, mighty God. Let us to see our go work in the name of Jesus. Let us to see those who are in need in the name of Jesus. As we pray, the we pray for covering. Oh, we pray for covering in the name of Jesus. Those in the sick room, those in the sick day this morning. Oh, you was wounded for our transgression. You was bruised for our iniquity. Oh, the justice and our peace was upon you. Oh, and by your stripes, oh, by your stripes, heal us this morning. Heal us in a new way, mighty God. Heal us in a new way, Jesus. Oh, a fresh anointing, mighty God. Oh, every bench, mighty God. Oh, leave no sword on dirt in the name of Jesus. Come with those who pray, mighty God. Come with those who sing in the name of Jesus. Come with each and every family members, mighty God. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. We stop in the name of Oh, we pray for the light of the Lord. We pray for the light of the Lord. You said unto Peter, open this rock. You will build your church. It is your church, mighty God. It is you, mighty God. All that we are, mighty God, working is for you, Lord. Let your will be done in the name of Jesus. Cover our leaders. Cover those in authority, mighty God. Cover those who make decisions. Cover those who take action in the name of Jesus. Oh, we pray, mighty God. That Lord, you, mighty God, will be lifted. You will be lifted and I, mighty God. And so I pray for your people. Oh, mighty God, to keep on praising, praising you. Oh, to keep on worshiping you, mighty God. Oh, to keep on giving you that they do to you, mighty God. And now for our children, mighty God. Cover our mighty God and teach us. Cover those, oh, mighty God, those who take them to school. Those who pick them up and saw the transportation system, the drivers, mighty God, the parents, the guardian, Lord, we pray for covering our next generation, Lord. Oh, we don't want them to go out, Lord. What do you want them to represent? Oh, we want them to stand. We want them to be counted in the name of Jesus. And so this morning, mighty God, anoint them, touch their intellect. Oh, touch, mighty God, your development, Lord. That Almighty God, they will look to you from whence come in your head. They will seek you and they will be found. They will call upon you and you are near. Righteous God, we put this service in your hand. Oh, anoint your man servant. Ace you his footsteps, mighty God. Oh, give him another word, Lord. Give him another word, mighty God. Move him out of the way, Lord. And go before in the name of Jesus. Anoint every heart, Lord, who are here. I pray, mighty God, as they come for something. Oh, we need to see that they will receive of you. Oh, they will receive of you newness. Oh, they will receive of you power. They will receive of you unction, mighty God. Go with us now, mighty God, we pray. Oh, we give a thanks for the picture. Oh, we give a thanks, Lord. We pray belong to you, Jesus. Oh, you have already won it for us, mighty God. Oh, we give a glory. Jesus, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name.
Jesus' name. Oh, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, for we just stand as we're gonna read Saint Mark, Saint Mark four. We're reading Saint Mark four, reading from verse thirty-five to verse forty-one. And we just want to read together. St. Mark 4, 35 to 41. Bless the Lord. Together, we're ready. And the same day when the eve was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him, even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the inner part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him, say unto him, Master, Hearest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly, and said one to another, What manner of man is this? And even the wind and the sea obey him. Bless the name of Jesus. As it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be. Right without him. Righteous God, it is your word. It is you, Lord, in your word. Mighty God, I pray for your blessing and your provision even now. Lord, Remove me out of the way, remove any endurance now. Take over, Lord, take over. And do your marvelous work. In the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. You may see him. We give God thanks for his blessing. He is worthy to be praised. What manner of man is this? We can team it as that today. What manner of man is this, my brothers and sisters? What manner of man is this? But the Bible tells us that God is a spirit, yeah. and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. What manner of man is not, not an ordinary, is extraordinary. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Even the wind, even the wind, you may come to your brother, you may come to your sister, and you will tell them whatever issues you may be experiencing. You may tell them the different troubles and the different situations that you experience. And what they will do, oh, hold on, it's rough. You will nod your head. You know, they will sympathize with you and say, oh, I hope that it works out. I hope that it will work out. Safe trouble. I hope that it will work out. Oh, but this morning, what manner of man is this? Peace be still. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Oh, we can see in this message, in the scripture here, the disciples were troubled. Oh, the master was asleep. He was tired. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Oh, but they went and wake him up. They went and wake him up. Sometimes in our life we say that when trouble takes you, oh, pity the shot, pick you, and so you are in trouble. And so you may run to your next door neighbor in the middle of the night and say, come on, help me over here, help me, I need help. Blessed be the name.
name of Jesus. I got a name of the Lord. You don't see it's midnight. You don't see it's late right now. Wait until tomorrow. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Master, here is thou not that we perish. But he arose. He arose and rebuked the wind. And said unto the sea, Peace be still. What manner of man is this, my brothers and sisters? Whatever you are experiencing, whatever you are going through, oh, it is rough at work. It is rough in your school. It is rough in your education system. It is rough in the country. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Because when we hear it on the news, oh, when we hear it on the news, over there there is kidnapping. Over there on the bus plunging to the gully. Over there they have murdered somebody. And so your mind is unsettled. Oh, your mind is unsettled. I want to move from Jamaica. I want to move from this parish. I want to move from this state. Blessed be the name of Jesus. But yes, there's a man. Yes, there's a God you can call on this morning, Martha. There's a God that you can call on. Oh, he's never so busy to hear your heart's cry. He's never too busy to hear your heart's cry this morning. What manner of man? What manner of man is this? Oh, he can calm your storm. Oh, he can calm your storm this morning. He can calm your storm. There's there's storm in your home. And so there's family against family. Blessed be the name of Jesus. He can calm your storm. Peace be still. Peace be still. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And the wind cease when he speak. They will have to obey. Oh, when he speak, they will have to obey. What manner of man is this? Yes, you may be saying that sometimes, sometimes in your homes, in your community, at work, oh, when you speak, nobody listens. Oh, no, no, no they, 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 they take your speech for granted. Oh, they take what is, oh, it doesn't really mean much. Whatever you say, it doesn't really have any substance. Oh, he cannot do much. Blessed be the name of Jesus. But I say to us, brothers and sisters, we may be small. Oh, we may be big. But greater is he that is in us. Oh, than he that is in the world. Blessed be the name of Jesus. What manner of man is this? And the wind sings. And there was great calm. Blessed be the name of Jesus. His voice makes the difference. His voice makes the difference, brothers and sisters. Oh, when you're down there in the valley. Oh, when you're facing so many issues. Oh, but when his voice speaks. Oh, when his voice speaks, there's such a calmness. Oh, there's such a calmness this morning. We give him thanks. Oh, we give him thanks his word to be praised. His voice makes a difference. When he speaks, he releases. Your trouble, man. Are you in trouble today? Oh, is your mind in trouble today? Wondering what next? Because, yes, that's the reality we are living. Oh, we cannot be ignorant or naive of the situation. Oh, many times when we say, Lord, one week I finish and we give God thanks. But we honestly look in unto the other week, wondering what will happen. Oh, it will work out. Oh, it will work out. But this morning, his voice makes the difference. This morning, he can say, peace be still to your situation. This morning, he can say, peace. Oh, Lord, here you are. Oh, no, there's a storm going on around you in your life this morning. He can say peace. Oh, will you live? Will you let him have a way in your life this morning? He said, Come. Come. Come unto me. Imagine I was saying earlier. Imagine you will run to your neighbor. You will run to your best friend. Ask him for help because you're in trouble. Oh, there's issues. I know they want to sleep. No, they cannot help you. But the master is always saying, come. He's always saying, come. Blessed be the name of Jesus. 
Oh, I know you're heavy laden and he's telling them, come. Even though you have gone your own way, even as I pray to God, so I said, give me my portion. Give me my portion. I want to go home and experience. But yes, the Lamar says, say, come. Come. What manner of man is this? What manner of man, though I hurt you so much, you can still say, come. Though I say so much things against you and say, away with your God. I don't want your God. But he's still saying, come. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Though last week you were saying, I have no time for church. Though last week you were saying, I have to go over here. I have to go to this parish. I have to go and meet this friend. What manner of man is this? He's still saying, come. He's still saying, come. Blessed be the name of Jesus. What manner of man is this? Although you have been messed up, although you have been cast aside, what manner of man is this? He still said, come. Come unto me. Come. Come unto me. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And he said unto them, why are you so fearful? Why are you so fearful? Yes. I was saying earlier, imagine if we would have gone over the past week, but yet still there's a fear. There's a fear of next week. There's a fear of tomorrow. There's a fear of oh, oh, am I gonna find all the different things that teacher says that I should give the students to bring for your project. Bless the name of Jesus. Oh, am I gonna find all the different things that the doctor would have said that you need for that operation? Oh, am I gonna face to get all those things? That I need to go and meet that meeting. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Why are you so fearful? Oh, is it that you have no faith? Blessed be the name of Jesus. This God that you serve, he never slumber nor sleep. Oh, this God that you serve, he's a way maker. This God that you serve, he's a problem solver. This God that you serve, oh, he's a peace speaker. This God that you serve, he's a healer. This God that you serve, he's a bombing killer. This God that you serve, he's the Jehovah Chatter. This God that you serve, blessed be the name of Jesus. What manner of man, what manner of man is this? Blessed be the name of Jesus. And they fear exceedingly. Why? Because. They have never experienced anyone like this who could just say to them, Stop, peace be still. Blessed be the name of Jesus. They have never experienced anybody like this who could just say to the demon, Get out of her. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Oh, they have never experienced anything like this who said to them, man, Take up thy bed and walk. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Oh, when this man speaks, Oh, immediately. Oh, when he speaks, they will have to obey. Oh, demons tremble. Blessed be the name of Jesus. What manner of man is this? What manner of man is this Sparta? And they fear exceedingly and said one to another, What manner? What manner of man is this? That even the wind. Blessed be the name of Jesus. You know, the past week and even yesterday, oh, we we'll experienced some shows. But many times before the show has come, what happened? You hear the thunder roll and the light of flashes. And somebody said, Boy, oh, I catch my friend, I need to go and Oh, what manner of man is this? That even as though we fear the lightning, even though we fear the thunder, when he said, Stop, oh, what man, he waved his hand. They will have to obey. He don't have to even say a word. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. What on earth man is this? So I say to us, let us come to the ponder. Let us come to the sea. Great is his faithfulness to us. Great is his faithfulness to us. Morning by morning. Your mercies. Your mercies. Blessed be the name of Jesus. What manner of man is this? And so as we see in the scripture, we'll continue in chapter 5. And so the Bible tells us, 
And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gerrits. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tomb a man with unclean spirit. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And so I want to draw his attention to the church that even this morning, even when you would have gone over many times in your prayer and fasting, as we see here, when Jesus would have gone over, oh, in some of the trials is to turn you away from what that the Lord would have had in store for you, my brothers and sisters. Some of the testing is to turn you away from what the Lord would have had in store. And as we see here, as we read in the scripture, wherein the Lord would have gone over on the ship with his disciples, and there was a great storm. Imagine they were going on, and yet, what happened? Lightning and thunder and storm were to come. One of the poor, the man of God, one of the poor Jesus Christ. Oh, they don't want Jesus to go over, because there was something over there to encounter him if he go over. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And so the storms of life will come, blessed Jesus, brothers and sisters, Amen. to detour us, to take us from the journey, or to take us from out the journey that the Lord would have allowed us to continue on. Amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And so the enemy, blessed be the name of Jesus, is cunning. Yes, and so we want to recognize who we are warring against. And so we are not warring against my sister. We are not warring against my brother. And so we are warring against principalities and powers. We are warring against spiritual wickedness in high places. And so Jesus was there with his disciples on the ship. And guess what? Yes, rulers of darkness. Rulers of darkness. And so there's a great storm came. Wanted to detour Jesus. Don't want him to go over there. Blessed Jesus, because the enemy know what you have. The enemy know what you have this morning, brothers and sisters. Oh, but it's for you to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. What manner of man is this? And so as we see, the storm came about, wanting to detour Jesus from going over on the other side. And so we're going to see that when he come over the other side, there was a man. There was, it said immediately, blessed be the name of Jesus. There met him out of the tomb, a man with an unclean spirit. And so I want to say to you today, sometimes if you allow the storms of life, oh, to stop us and say, boy, I don't want to serve the Lord anymore. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Why do I have to go through all of this? And so if the Lord, oh, would have said, boy, it's a storm is going on. Let us not, don't want to go over there. Let us continue and let's find some other place to go. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And so the spiritual wickedness in high places will come and to the tour you. Oh, the tour you from where you are. Blessed be the name of Jesus. You may be at work. And so there are going to be plants and traps set up. Blessed be the name of Jesus. You may be going into your fashion achievement. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And so the rulers of darkness is out there. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Because what is done already planned in the spiritual realm, it will come to future and in the physical realm. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And so, the enemy, knowing that this man, this man was doing a lot of things for him over on the other side. And so if Jesus was supposed to come over on that side, blessed be the name of Jesus. What manner of man is this? Because everywhere he went, he was doing good. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. So if he come up all over on this side, then he, oh, the enemy is going to lose all the harm that he was collecting from the people. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Many times I say to you, blessed be the name of Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. I say to you, that even at that moment when they think that, oh yes, I am enjoying the Lord right now. Oh, the enemy is still going to attack you. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And so, even after he said, peace be still. As they came over 
unto the other side of the sea, unto the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tomb a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him. No man could bind him. No, not with chain. Imagine him. You will get as much strong men, as much strong men that exist around, they could not bind him. Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chain. And the chain had been plucked asunder. He burst them. And the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could anyone tame him. And always night and day he was in the mountain and in the tomb, crying and cutting himself with stone. And when he saw Jesus afar off, blessed be the name of Jesus. That's why we say spiritual wickedness. We say, blessed be the name of Jesus. Yes, even the demon know. Even the devil know. Yes. They run. They ran to him. He ran and worshipped him and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of the most high? What have I to do? I say to us, brothers and sisters, what manner of man is this? Even the demon run and worship him. Even the demon run and worship him. What manner of man is this that he said unto the wind, Peace be still. What manner of man is this that when we are troubled, oh, when we are troubled on every side, yet still he can call our troubled man. What manner of man is this? Blessed be the name of Jesus. And cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee? Jesus, the Son of the Most High God, I adore thee, my God, that thou torment me not. Yes, so we see here, imagine, imagine the storm. Oh, the storm came about. Wanted Jesus and disciples on this ship to don't go over on this side, to don't go over on this other side. There was this man who was tormenting. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Principalities and powers are always at work, brothers and sisters. Oh, it's for us to be mindful. Oh, it's for us to be not be naive of his issues, of his devices. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Blessed be the name of Jesus. We see here the demon was doing so much things in that country. Don't want to leave from here. Don't want to leave from here. Don't want the Lord to torment them. Blessed be the name of Jesus. But this morning we command. We command the devil in the name of Jesus to drop his weapon and flee. Oh, for the Lord has given us authority. Blessed be the name of Jesus. What manner of man is this character? Because of who he is, we can go there and conquer. Because of who he is, we can go there and be triumphant. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Because of who he is, blessed be the name of Jesus. He have won. He have won the victory. Blessed be the name of Jesus. The songwriter said, You have won the victory. Death could not own it down. You are the risen king. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And so this word tells us, And there arose a great storm. Of wind. So the storm of wind arose out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, brothers and sisters. You may be going on so good, and out of nowhere, you experience a poacher tire. Out of nowhere, you experience a stumbling block. Out of nowhere, you experience obstacle. Blessed be the name of Jesus. But I say to us this morning, oh, we can cry to him. Oh, yes. 
He's a good father. He's a good father this morning. That's who he is. That's who he is. Oh, that's who he is this morning. He's a good father. Oh, we can cry to him. We can cry to him. Oh, we can cry to him this morning. This morning, what manner of man is this? I just want to leave with you today. I said Matthew 11, verse 28 to 30 tell us. Blessed be the name of Jesus. You're facing the storms of life. Your issues are different from mine. Your challenges are different from mine. Blessed be the name of Jesus. But guess what the psalmist said? Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Blessed be the name of Jesus. He allow you to find your lost coin. He allow you to find your lost man. Oh, he allow you to triumph over the issues. Pass me. Oh, he allow you, blessed be the name of Jesus. He will set peace, peace. And so I say to you today, brothers and sisters, as he say to us in his word, said Matthew 11, 28, come unto me, blessed be the name of Jesus. I want to say to somebody in our midst today or on the outside in the sound of my voice in Baritone. Oh, you have not yet met this man. What manner of man is this? Oh, if you have tried everything and everything fit, you can try Jesus. Jesus never fail. He never fail. Jesus never fail. He said, come unto me. All in that labor. Oh, you have gone through the past week. You have gone through how many months already in 2023? I just said, I thought 2023 was going to be my year. My year of victory. My year of deliverance. My year of triumph. Oh, what the Lord is still on the throne today, today, my brothers and sisters. Oh, the Lord is still on the throne. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my child, he said to you, Blessed be the name of Jesus. David said, when my mother and father forsake, oh, when your friends out there forsake you, when your family members forsake you, yes, I say, the Lord is saying to us, come. He's continuously saying, come. Come. Grace and mercy still offer to us. Come. Come. What mother of man is this that still say, come. Even when we didn't deserve it, he still said, come, come, blessed be the name of Jesus. Oh, we just want to give him glory, we want to give him honor. Oh, we want to recognize his goodness, he's still telling us, come. Oh, when we would have done so wrong against him, mighty God, he's still telling us, come. Oh, undeserving, he's still telling us, come. Oh, we have gone our own way. We are forsaken his work. But he's still telling us, come. What manner of man. Oh, what manner of man. Come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Oh, we say all over the world is trouble. All over the world is issues, situation. But guess what? Jesus is the man with the plan. Oh, he is the man with the plan. Oh, could we just go to him? Could we just go to him? He's calling us to come. Oh, he's calling us to come. He will give us rest. Because, yes, we need rest. Oh, we need rest. He said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lonely in heart. And he shall find rest unto your soul. For his yoke is easy and his burden is light. What manner of man is this church? What manner of man is this? Could we stand everyone everywhere as we give him glory? Oh, could we stand everyone everywhere and give him glory? He's worthy, he's worthy. What manner of man is this? Oh, what manner of man is this that said, let there be and there was. 
What manner of man is this who give us morning and give us night? What manner of man is this who give us sunshine and give us rain? What manner of man is this who give us clothes on our back and a roof over our head? Hallelujah. What manner of man is this who give us food on our table? Hallelujah. The word worthy, the word worthy. Hallelujah. What manner of man is this? Could we ascribe to him today as he come or us come? Peace. In the midst of the storm, peace. Peace. In the midst of the storm, he said, peace. Oh, peace. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Peace. Hallelujah. I give you Jesus today. I give you Jesus. Peace. And to God, we give a time to lift you up even now. Holy Spirit, we worship you. We glorify you, the Lord. Really. Thank you for entering. Thank you for entering, thank mighty Jesus, God. Thank you. Oh, thank you for entering and even now, mighty God. We will comfort our hearts. We will comfort our hearts this morning, mighty God. That we can find peace in you. What a manner of man. What a God, what a God. Righteous God, where can we cleanse our ways? But by taking heed to your word, where can we find joy and rescue but taking your word? And so, Almighty God, cover us, cover this community of faith, Baritown. You know us by name, you know the lineage, you know everything about us. I pray, mighty God, that your work will continue to go forward in the name of Jesus. Anoint man servant near and far, woman servant near and far, mighty God. Hallelujah. And even those present, because you're going to raise them up, mighty God. Jesus. To stand for you, Lord. Righteous God, have your own way even now. Cover and guide us as we say thanks to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus.